We've had a lot of requests to see more helicopters on the channel and it's been a while since I've flown one but I've probably flown maybe like 20 helicopters ever. It's not a lot compared to planes and stuff but still enough to know if I like it or not. Maybe a little bit more than that if you count the little toy helicopters that most of you have probably gotten for Christmas. You know, the ones that have like stacks of blades on the top and when you take them outside they fly off into the sun for some reason. <laughs> They're infrared, the sun takes over. They're, you cannot fly them in the sun. This one is not like that. This one flies on 2.4 gigahertz on this nice little radio. It should be easy to fly because it has flight stabilization built in and I'm excited for that because it has been a while since I've flown. I think this is probably a good idea for someone that wants to try nicer helicopters but you don't want to spend a lot of money on it. You'll notice this doesn't have those stacks of blades on the top. It also doesn't have something called a fly bar. This is fly bar less. No fly bar. That means that it uses an onboard stabilization computer basically and two little servos that help to adjust the pitch of the prop to help it go in which direction it needs to go and then it can still rotate too just like a real helicopter. I like how this looks. I love Esheen helicopters. The price is amazing. If you're interested we'll have it linked in the description box below. We're gonna fly two batteries through this today as long as I don't crash on my first. So let's go have some fun. It might be hard to see but there's a little red light on the back. I'll try to get a good shot of that yeah, for you. Got it. I like that. I don't think I've ever had an outdoor helicopter with a light on it before. So we just throttle up and we're in the air. This is nice and quiet. Abby, I'm gonna get it a little bit closer to us. <laughs> yeah. I don't film helicopters uh, ever. Higher rates because we've got to fight this wind. I think I found it. Yeah, there we go. So we're pushing in the wind now. That's actually full forward. Yeah, second rate or you don't stand much of a chance to fly outside. I will say, just from the short time I've had my hands on this, you don't want to fly in much wind at all. We waited until late evening, which is why we have our jackets on. It's a lot cooler out now, just so we'd have less wind to fly in. Are you doing okay, Abby? Not really. Up Sorry, and guys. Down and up and down. I don't think we've done a helicopter in well, oh, a well over time. a year. Long time. So we should be able to rotate this thing too. Here we go. Yeah, nice. <laughs> They're very unpredictable, aren't they, Abby? Yes, makes it hard to film. So airplanes are what Abby's really used to filming or slow moving drones. And airplanes just fly in, the, you know, they're always moving forward for the most part. Uh, this, Abby has no idea if I'm gonna throttle up and it goes up. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea yeah, what you're doing I don't either, really, I'm just so kinda trying to fight the wind a little bit. Can't fully blame it on me. No. <laughs> Well, it looks good. I like the orange tip of the edge of the blade. Can you see that sometimes? Mm, yes. Yeah, so you get to see where the blade is. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it flies pretty good, but I'm just a beginner helicopter pilot. Now, I have flown some uh, helicopters that let you fly upside down, and they pretty much always crash when I try those. So I like flying something like this because it just lets me get a feel for the flight. Yeah? It's... It's going to be a forgiving helicopter too. It's so lightweight that if we were to smack into the ground, you know, we can just kind of bounce around and it's fine. Let's see if we can just take off from there. He's into the throttle and we're back up. Nice little helicopter. So a lot of people don't realize this, but helicopters like this one fly just like drones. If you've ever flown any drone before, the left stick is throttle when you push it up and down. We're, you ready, Abby? We're gonna do a throttle punch. Oh, okay. Three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, not bad, not bad. Now that would fly higher, everybody will ask this. That helicopter will fly higher than you can see before it loses range, so you don't have to worry about range with this. The left stick also rotates the helicopter, so you spin it like this. And then the right stick, when you push forward, it goes forward, you pull back, it goes back, right, it strafes right, and left, it goes left. Although you can see which way the wind is coming. We're flying into the wind this whole time. So it does fly just like a drone. A lot of people that maybe are just my age or a little bit older, helicopters didn't used to fly this well back uh, maybe 10 years or so ago. And Your sister then, was just talking about some crappy helicopter yeah, she right. had. Yep, that's kind of what motivated me to get this out Oh, too. okay. Uh, I thought, you know what, helicopter, that does sound like fun. 
Well, there um, you go, Adrian. Yeah, <laughs> that's my sister. So they've come a long way. That's the point I'm trying to make. And they really do fly just like drones. Just so you guys can see, I'm not having to like really struggle a lot. This Except for the wind. The wind is kind of making it a lot more difficult, but I'm still not an advanced helicopter pilot, so I think that pretty much anybody could fly this. Just what you don't want to do is throttle up too hard and too fast, even if it's nice and easy, and you keep going up, people tend to get scared and then they oh, they jump off the throttle and then your helicopter falls out of the sky. And I just throttled up really fast to catch it. But what you want to try to do if you're learning to fly either a drone or a helicopter, I've told people this probably thousands of times, you just play with the throttle. You ease onto it a little bit when you notice it's going down and when you notice your helicopter goes up, just ease off of the throttle a little bit. Very small movements. Very small movements on throttle. Let's show them. Very tiny little movements. See? The right Stick, it's more okay to move it around really fast. You're not gonna do anything too crazy with it. It's that throttle that you don't wanna go nuts with. And then really new people will start to push that throttle stick left and right some too, just not knowing what it does. And that's when you get disoriented because the helicopter shifts directions. You just wanna be a little bit careful uh, with the throttle when you're learning to fly. You learn to manage your throttle and you can fly it no problem. <laughs> I know you sees it. <laughs> <laughs> She's learning the word helicopter because we've had helicopter um, maple seeds fly oh, into she our yard, and she picks them up and she throws them. She helicopter. She says something like, "I don't know how like, she did." Like, <laughs> it's definitely not helicopter. Oh, and by the Same way, thing. the kachunga thing, guys. If you've been around long enough to know kachunga, she's learning kachunga. She's starting to try to say kachunga, so, so it's pretty cool. We'll try to get a perfect landing here toward the end of the video, and if we do, we'll get a kachunga for sure. <laughs> Poor Amelia. I think she wants to. We we're leaving the hatch of the car open now so she can see what we're doing. She generally is pretty happy in there just playing with her toys. I think she wants to come out and play with us. So I've got a couple, I wanna press the, the right stick as a button, it does nothing, and same with the left stick. Um, I noticed that the right top shoulder is rates. That's all it's got going on. You can press and hold and it does nothing, but if you get the second beep, you're in higher rate, which means you can fly a little faster. The left one, I don't really notice it doing anything. It might just, it has two beeps. Well, there you go. It all, maybe it's rates too. I think it's also rates. Both That's what buttons, it sounds like. Whoa, yeah. that goes fast with so the yeah, wind. So yeah, when the wow. wind is uh, dying down some, it does pick up speed. It's a fun, sporty helicopter in the highest rate. It's just, uh, I was just trying to hover it there. <laughs> There's a million, she sees it for sure now. <laughs> we'll have to get her out and fly this with her on the second battery because you know what? I was expecting about a four minute flight on that battery that's included. That's why I planned on flying both batteries for you guys, but I don't think I need to for this video. This is a very nice long flight. I'm guessing that red light on the back is gonna be our low battery indicator. Yeah, probably. So I'm, I'm kind of looking out for that. Now the cool thing about this setup is the helicopter came with the radio, the charger, you know, flight batteries and everything. Everything you need except for six double A's for the radio. And I think, if I remember right, there are four total batteries for the helicopter awesome. with this. I charged two of the four for today, uh, for this video, and I'm really impressed with this flight time. This yeah, you're is like crazy. seven minutes. This is crazy. It's a good looking helicopter too. I like that bright orange. Because look, if we drop it down Sorry, into the tall guys. grass, let's try this. See, we should be able to see it really easy. Oh, nope! <laughs> it's really tall it's so grass. <laughs> I can't believe you thought you'd be able to see. You're gonna get a tick. Oh my gosh. Very nice. If you ever do a hand launch, I mean, I don't recommend it uh, unless you're a little bit more skilled, but if you do, never stand downwind and always, <laughs> always let your blades slowly spin up, even from the ground. You wanna let your throttle slowly spin up. Let me show you what I mean. If you have the helicopter on the ground and you just throttle up quickly, this tends to get thrown off balance. So we'll throttle up really fast 
And that one did a good job. We got lucky. But yeah, a lot of times you want to throttle up nice and slow and easy on your takeoff. Let those blades get spinning. This is a great little helicopter. I like this. It's got nice control, even in this wind. Look at how green it is here at the field now, oh, guys. Oh, no, I said nice control, and look, I crashed it. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, it looks so good up here now. With all the trees getting leaves. I like it. Wouldn't it be crazy if I could actually stay zoomed in on this and like, kshong. Well, it's too sporadic the way I'm flying <laughs> and with the wind. Jesus. Yeah, that'd be cool though. So when helicopters like this get low on battery, sometimes they start to slowly rotate in the air on their own. They get a little bit of yaw input. I think I'm feeling that. So I'm guessing in the next 30 seconds or, or sooner, we're gonna get a low battery indicator. I can hear that little tail rotor fighting the wind. <laughs> it's so cool. I enjoy helicopters like this. I don't enjoy the big giant ones that look like scimitars swinging around <laughs> they, above. They scare me. They really scare me. I don't know how pilots do those crazy maneuvers. I've accepted that I will never, ever be good enough to do that. Sorry about that. The last time we saw one fly, we had Amelia and I about had a heart attack. <laughs> I was so nervous. I am so shocked at this flight time. Abby. Yeah, me too. Now I'm just kind of throttling and pushing forward to try to get that battery low because I just cannot believe how good this flight time is. Whoa! <laughs> like this helicopter, it's not going to hurt you, right? You still don't want to hit your face with it. Obviously. I mean, I'm pretty sure a baseball would hurt a million times worse than this if you got hit in the face with it. Just, you just. <laughs> Oh, are you laughing at her or me? You. Well, it's people freak out sometimes with RCs, like, could they hurt you? It's a dangerous hobby. Not something like this. Even most airplanes, you know, there are, I, football is way, 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 way more dangerous than flying an RC helicopter. <laughs> people go to the hospital daily because of, you know, a lot of sports. This is a very fun hobby, very family friendly. For a million now she's I, I want people to see this flight time this is so crazy I did not expect this at all this is just one of the four included batteries I am so surprised let's do a throttle punch out here punching still seeing a solid light bring it back so crazy we'll do a full forward and a lot of throttle zip it around She's she's cheering for me, isn't she? I wonder if people can hear. I have no idea. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying "dada" over yeah, and over and over yeah. again. Well, you can tell who her, her favorite is. <laughs> Let's show her the helicopter. <laughs> hey, kiddo. You, <laughs> you can't see her. She's behind the seat. Can you see it? Can you see the helicopter? We got the back seat down because we just had a plane in there the other day and she's on the other side. <laughs> so she can see out the back side. Look at that baby girl. Look at that. See the helicopter? <laughs> she loves RCs. Anytime she sees, especially planes, she's always saying, wow. This flight time is insane. We're at like 11 and a half minutes. That's crazy. She so crazy. Oh yeah, I know she wanted to see it. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> she said, wow, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'll tell you what. Let's land this and I'll give you an accurate flight time down in the description box or the pinned comment so you guys will know what the flight time was because I want Amelia to get out and have some fun up here with us. So we're gonna land it nice and smooth. Yeah, awesome helicopter. As much as I'd like to think we've got this nice polished YouTube channel and everything is just perfect. That is not who we are. <laughs> this is, we're the RC sailors. This is like vlog life mixed with RC. But we still get our hands on, literally now, I think we're getting close to a couple thousand products over the last seven years. It's really crazy. Uh, although the helicopter selection is probably even fewer than boats. Still, this was fun to fly, easy to fly, fairly durable, I had a great time putting it in the air. And what we'll do is, after we turn this video off here, 
I'll continue to fly it. Abby will get Amelia. We'll give you guys an accurate flight time down by the link where you can buy this. If you're looking for a helicopter, this thing's great. It's so easy to fly. It's pretty safe. I would just say don't fly in any wind, especially if you're a new pilot. I would imagine that most people buying this, it'll probably be your first, second, or maybe third helicopter. I don't think the pros out there would be interested in this. Looks great though, flies really well. Now, like I said, this is real life here on the RC Sailors. Amelia is saying data in the background, and also the realness factor kicks in when we just talk about the whole shopping experience. This is actually the second radio that we've gotten for this helicopter. We intended for this helicopter to be on the channel probably about a month and a half or so ago. Uh, we got it out of the box, and the original radio just wouldn't turn on. We put fresh batteries in, I tried to do everything that I know how to do on a basic level of getting a radio to turn on, and I just had no power. Just something fell apart inside, I don't know. Uh, I'm sure that happens no matter what brand it is, but it did happen in this case. We contacted them, sent a couple pictures, the show wasn't working, and then they sent us a new one with no charge. The new one that we got, the antenna broke off in shipping because it just came in a plastic bag. Kind of crazy. But it took about six weeks for us to get the replacement. About six weeks. So the reason we're telling you guys this is because it's not like when we order from this website, we get things overnight or anything. It takes a while for us too. And I should, I want you to know that to set the expectation. If you buy this helicopter, you're a new person to buying in the RC hobby. You're not going to get it two day shipping like you yeah. normally would on Amazon. Amazon right now is pretty delayed too. Yeah. And now everything. because of the coronavirus, like Banggood and stuff is even slower. Seems to be, yeah, and I think yeah. that's why it took so long to get this. So anyway, uh, just to set the tone there, you gotta be patient. Generally, when you're saving money, you gotta wait a little longer, and I'm okay with that. I've been okay with that since I've been in the hobby. Sometimes you pay more for a more premium product, and you're also gonna get a little bit faster shipping, but I know that everybody's struggling to ship stuff right now, so just setting the tone. Buy yourself this, plan on enjoying it midsummer. <laughs> I don't know. End of summer. End of summer, maybe. <laughs> This will be linked in the description box below. I'm so grateful that we got to get out here and fly, and for that, I thank God. Even though it was nice and toasty warm when we were at home and we were working in the yard, I got the grass mowed today. I'm in my, this is, the, although, although it's a WV jacket, it is my work jacket, okay? So take that however you want. <laughs> I own one, but I work in it. So uh, yeah, it's, ch it's chilly. So we're gonna play with Amelia for five or 10 minutes, have a little bit of fun. I'm just, I'm just so grateful, guys, to be able to continue to do these videos. I thank all of you. If you made it this far in this video, you're amazing. If you gave us a thumbs up, you're double amazing. And you're super amazing if you're one of our Patreon supporters. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts. These names that are scrolling by right now are some of our top tier Patreon supporters. We just could not do what we do without you guys. Anywhere from a dollar or more, we sincerely thank you. Now, we do have other helicopters on the channel. It's gonna be hard for us to go back and find one because it's been a while, but there's gonna be a video popping up right about now of one of our favorite RC helicopters. Who knows how long ago that was? That'll be fun to watch. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.